Geometry mnemonics proving triangle congruence. In proving triangle congruence, there's a need to remember at least a definition, three postulates, and five theorems. It's important to create mnemonics to retain the information before the test or, if possible, a couple of years after the test. Here are some examples of mnemonics about proving triangle congruence. Hope that this will inspire you to create one and to have fun while learning. In proving triangle congruence, you have lots of acronyms. These actually are the abbreviations of the words that we usually mention while proving. Do you still remember this? Side, side, side. Side, angle, side. Angle, side, angle. Angle, angle, side. Leg, leg. Leg, angle. Hypotenuse, angle. Hypotenuse, leg. Our next mnemonic in proving triangle congruence is a concept map. This is actually a visual organizer that helps us remember information. Our concept map is about proving triangle congruence. In proving triangle congruence, prove that the six corresponding parts are congruent, which means that the three corresponding sides and the three corresponding angles are congruent. Remember that two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are congruent. However, triangle congruence can be proved also with three corresponding parts congruent based on the three postulates and a theorem. The following are SSS, side, 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 postulate, SAS, side, included, angle, side, postulate, ASA, angle, included, side, angle, postulate, and AAS. Angle, angle, side theorem or the SAA theorem. For right triangles, triangle congruence can be proved using two corresponding parts congruent based on the four theorems LL, leg leg theorem, LA, leg angle theorem, HYA, hypotenuse angle theorem, and HYL hypotenuse leg theorem. Another mnemonic in proving triangle congruence is music mnemonic. One, two, three, four. Two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are congruent. Three sides, three angles, six corresponding congruent parts. If you think it's heavy, then prove it using three. SSS is AS. ASA postulate is AA theorem or AAS. Remember, there's no triple A and S. Right triangles are good for you, for you can prove it too. LLLA, HYA, HYL theorem too. Two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are congruent. Prove it. Okay, now let's prove triangle congruence with six corresponding parts congruent, three corresponding parts congruent, and two corresponding parts congruent using two column proof. Number one Given segment PV and segment RE bisect each other at O, segment RP is congruent to segment EV. Angle R is congruent to angle E. Angle P is congruent to angle V. Proof. Triangle POR is congruent to triangle VOE. Note that we have three congruent parts given, meaning we need three more congruent parts. But segment PV and segment RA bisect each other at O, which means that segment PO is congruent to segment VO and segment RO is congruent to segment 
EO. The figure shows that angle POR and angle VOE are vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are congruent. Now here's the proof. Statements, reasons. Segment PV and segment RE bisect each other at O. Given. Segment PO is equal to segment VO. Definition of segment bisector. Also segment RO is congruent to segment EO. Definition of segment bisector. Segment RP is congruent to segment EV. Given. Angle R is congruent to angle E, given. Angle P is congruent to angle V, given. Angle POR is congruent to angle VOE. The reason is vertical angles theorem. Now that we already have three corresponding sides congruent and three corresponding angles congruent, we can prove that Triangle POR is congruent to triangle VOE by definition of congruent triangles. Number two, given. Segment RE bisects segment PV at O. Angle R is congruent to angle E. Prove triangle POR is congruent to triangle VOE. Let's put marks. Segment RE bisects segment PV at O implies that segment PO is congruent to segment VO. Angle R is congruent to angle E given. Angle POR and angle VOE are vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent. Three corresponding parts are already congruent. Here's the proof. Statements, reasons. Segment RE bisects segment PV at O, given. Segment PO is congruent to segment VO, definition of segment bisector. Angle R is congruent to angle E, given. Angle POR is congruent to angle VOE. Vertical Angles Theorem Three corresponding parts are already congruent. It's a side angle angle congruence. Therefore, triangle POR is congruent to triangle VOE. The reason is SAA Theorem. Number three, given Triangle POR and triangle VOE are right triangles with right angle P and V respectively. Segment PV and segment RE bisect each other at O. Proof, triangle POR is congruent to triangle VOE. Note that the two triangles are right triangles, two corresponding parts are needed to prove congruence of two triangles. Here's the proof. Triangle POR and triangle VOE are right triangles with right angles P and V respectively given. Segment PV and segment RE bisect each other at O given. Segment PO is congruent to segment VO Definition of segment bisector. Segment RO is congruent to segment EO. Definition of segment bisector. It's a hypotenuse leg congruence. Therefore, triangle POR is congruent to triangle VOE. Hypotenuse leg theorem. That's all for now.